Terrifier is a movie that feels like a parody of what non-horror fans imagine horror is. Now let's talk about it. <laughs> The movie opens up on a capital wasteland ghoul talking about being attacked by a killer. This is exactly one year and one day after the main events of the movie. You see, they're gonna do one of those surprise twists where the freaky disfigured person is actually the main character from the movie. Or, well, as much of a main character as you can be in this movie. They're all just kinda cannon fodder. Skipping past this, the movie follows Tara and... Blonde Girl, whatever her name was. It's not like it's important. They're returning home from a party and cross paths with a clown named Art. Art, for whatever reason, decides Tara is his target, and so he follows her and her friend around, and eventually slashes her tires so they're stranded. With nowhere to go, the girls call Tara's sister, and then Tara heads into the nearby building to pee. Naturally, since Art's stalking them and slashed their tires, he's lurking around the place, and ends up kidnapping Blondie. Oh yeah, uh, there was this scene in a pizza place before this, where Art ended up killing the workers after the girls left. But anyway, now in the building, Art kills some people and kidnaps Tara, forcing her to watch him kill her friend. This is that one scene that I'm sure you all know of whether or not you've seen the movie, the one with the girl hanging upside down and getting sawed in half. Tara manages to escape and thus a chase ensues. It's not a very long one, uh, you know, she gets shot to death pretty quickly. Tara's sister then shows up and ends up in the building, gets attacked, more people die, Art shoots himself, he's taken to a morgue, lights flicker, he comes back to life, kills the end. When the sequel came out, I got about 20 minutes into it before stopping. Not because it was bad, but because I wanted to rewatch the first before that one, where it had been a few years. The sequel started off good, and I'm honestly looking forward to watching it. This one though, it's bad. Okay, it's not the worst thing ever, but it's incredibly pointless. It is somewhat entertaining, and I do like the character of Art the Clown, but unless you're a fan of gratuitous glorifications of gore, I don't think you're gonna get much out of this. The kills were fine for the most part, but sometimes the effects looked pretty bad. Personally, I think the best scenes of violence or kills are the ones where you're only shown brief glances. It helps show you what's going on, but doesn't give your brain too much time to analyze and process what you're seeing. Like with the bad looking hand chop, or the head jack o lantern I respect the director Damien Leone. I'm also a fan of David Howard Thornton's portrayal of art. However, in the end of the day, this first Terrifier movie is incredibly pointless, and the only people who I could see really enjoying this are the horror fans obsessed with gore. So that means all the YouTube horror movie reviewers that are gonna hate the FNAF movie for having little blood. I don't like using the term torture porn, which I purposely avoided earlier, because I feel like people slap that label on pretty much anything with a bit of blood. But this is a case where the label fits. In the end of the day, I would rate 2016's Terrifier a 5 out of 10. I won't say it's bad, because I've seen way worse. However, again to use this word, it is a really pointless torture porn that I just couldn't really get into. Maybe pacing could have been a bit quicker, I don't know. But I do think Terrifier 2 is going to be a huge improvement. From the tiny bit I've already seen of that film, it's looking like it's going to be that way. If you want to watch this movie for yourself, links can be found in the description below. Thank you for watching, and I'll catch you next time. Have a nice day. Looking for more horror fun? You're goddamn right. Then check out the VHS comic book series, a parody of the horror genre that follows the lives of three teens as they fight to survive a horror movie, where every day is loaded with blood, boobs, and buds. The first two issues can be found in the description below. I was obsessed with VHS.